Representatives from the U.S. Army Program Executive Office for Simulation Training and Instrumentation, or STRI, visited Fort Benning recently for a squad overmatch study at Clark Simulation Center. The purpose of the visit is data collection, as STRI seeks feedback from squads as they go through virtual reality scenarios in the dismounted soldier training simulators. The DSTS was designed to build resiliency within soldiers by incorporating the top 11 stressors identified as contributing to post-traumatic stress disorder. The idea is to introduce these combat stressors in training so that soldiers do not freeze up on the battlefield. Bravo team, stack on the stairwell. Graduating exposure, ramping it up more and more and more and creating a, a, as realistic a world as we can when they go out to live. And, and hopefully we put them in that environment where they learn from it and are experiencing realism in training. Sergeant Major Higgs says the program is being developed to address an observed gap in training and believes this technology will prove vital to building resiliency. The ability to understand the human terrain is vital, and so developing advanced situational awareness skills is an important element to the squad overmatch study. Trainers control game avatars, allowing soldiers to engage in tactical questioning and to pick up on nonverbal cues. No, 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 I did not take this building. I was outside. Squads then headed out to the Combined Arms Combat Training Facility to apply these tactics to a field exercise using interactive targetry. Video projections of actor-controlled avatars allow for live dialogue and ASA application. I have reason to believe you're not being truthful with me right now. No, I ain't. Please, I am just cooking dinner for family. These targets are also equipped with weapon sensors similar to laser tag, which grant the capacity for these encounters to go kinetic if needed. We want them to experience and apply what they're learning along the way and we, we go back in AAR to make sure they, they understood what they're doing and then we get their feedback, did that help or not? Were you able to apply what you learned earlier in the, in the education portion and what you drilled on in, the, in the, uh, the drill portion to the scenario that you're in right now? STRI's mission is to apply technologies to optimize human performance by introducing stressors and realistic training building advanced situational awareness skills and resiliency. The data they collected during this squad overmatch study will prove vital as they move forward. David Wright, Fort Benning TV.